everybody. I'm Dan. I've um, been fortunate enough to uh, facilitate the workshops over the last four weeks. It's been really great working with all these wonderful young people. Um, it's, it's really great when you get an opportunity to teach something with people who want to be there. That's always really good. And something that you really, really are passionate about yourself. The first couple of weeks, we really, really focused on some of the fundamental elements of what it is about blues music that makes it blues. And, and that meant I had to be really cruel to the guitar players. In week two, I said, I'm not interested in what you're doing there. You know, some of these guys can really play. And really focusing on the feel. So it was really, really boring for them. <laughs> so much so that in the end of week three, when we had the wonderful Charlie Bedford, who's hiding in the wings. Um, thanks a lot. Thanks, Charlie. Charlie came along and was our guest um, mentor. Mentor. Shared his insights, his journey, and his musicianship with us. And that was the week where we really just really started to play our songs and jam together. And I knew we were having fun because Marcus over here at the end went, that was the best session. <laughs> Four weeks is not a lot of time to work on some tunes. These guys have done a great job. And um, we've got seven guitarists on stage, a couple of bass players, our drummer. Um, you all know these people individually, but I just want to introduce you before we kick off. We've got Marcus over there. So we've got Marcus there, we've got Joseph next to Marcus. Hi Joseph, hi Marcus. We've got Franti, that's our, that's our frontline guitar players. At the back there we've got Jack, Kenny. Sorry, we've got Franti there, I'm confusing names. Who's that? Oliver, sorry. Oliver's there, Franti's there. Ned's a big guy at the back, Jack's next to him. Um, Charlotte on bass. We've got Sam, and we've got Charlie on drums. And up the front, CC on the vocals. Be hovering around sort of cueing these guys but it's in your hands now so have a lot of fun enjoy yourselves and remember that two and that four <laughs> also just wanna... <laughs> I just also want to sort of front announce the tunes that they're playing we really thought about the songs that, that you know because what do you do? You choose six blues songs. It's such a huge repertoire of music to draw from. So we're starting in the 1930s with Robert Johnson. They get a little version of Ramblin'. They're going to move on to a Memphis mini song, a song called Moonshine. Then we're going to hit Muddy Waters with Can't Be Satisfied. Then we're going to the Hill Country with Sad Days and Lonely Nights by Junior Kimbra. Evil by Howling Wolf. And then, lucky last, we're going to do another Hill Country Blues song by Cedric Burnside. So we're covering a lot of ground. Over to the 2022 Youth in Blues participants. Take it away, guys.
That's all that's on the set list, right? It's over. Just stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I can see it properly now. I want to give a round of applause to this man at the end here, Joseph. Because I believe this is your first gig ever. On guitar. Well done. Marcus. Not Franny. Marcus. Is this your first gig ever? No. Give me a round of applause. Oliver. How long have you been playing again, Oliver? Two years. How was the feel on that Muddy Waters song? Yeah. Now guys, I'm a, I'm a complete and utter snob. I, I like my blues and for me it's about the feel. And there were moments where the, the feel that you guys had going on was so in the pocket. It's all about the feel, right? Yeah. 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 Jack, up here on the top. Um, small guy behind him is Ned. Penny. Franti, who um, rushed from a gig playing Nirvana to be here tonight. Thank you very much. Charlotte on the bass. Sam on the bass. This is um, where Lewis would have been. Um, Lewis had to work tonight. It's hard being a teenager, but Lewis was here for the workshops. Charlie on the drums. <laughs> that, um, that last track, we rehearsed that less than others, and I think Charlie owned the feel on that. I think you'd agree. Other Charlie's not here. Yeah, that sounded great. Really good. And up the front, doing a lot of heavy lifting tonight, CC on the vocals. Um, it's over super quick, so I thought, if you guys don't mind, we'll keep you on stage for another... Stretch it out, you know? Cause, and it's surprising, because if, if, if we were to play six songs with a blues jam with, with Charlie and myself, that we'd still be going after 45 minutes, because we'd indulge in the solos a bit more. <laughs> Thank you for your restraint tonight and keeping it tight, but I'd love to give you a chance right now to loosen up and have a jam with me. Would you like to do that? Yeah. So CC, I don't know if you know a song called The Sky Is Crying. Oh. All right, so you know what? We'll just do a call and answer thing. We can ad lib a little bit. Band, I'm just gonna throw solos to you. And this is where all that stuff we talked about. I know there's some people up here that go to jams and there's some people that don't. We all know what a quick change is. So we're gonna go to the four chord after one bar. All right, then back to the one. Yeah, we all know that. Quick change. Key of A. I set up the field, so we'll sit on the one until we're ready. All right. Key of A. See you soon. 
that's good. You gotta look out for vocalists, we'll do that. I said the stars cry.
It's one thing I come to work on something, but it's one thing to have a jam. Come on, raise the roof, because this is a wonderful thing.